When did when did you start? I know you started with Fords. When did you really get the itch to start customizing? That would be with my Ford. Well, with the whole Ford scenario, it's just there's not really much out there for Ford. And it was a 10th gen. Uh -huh. So it was a 5x135 lug pattern, and there's not much out there. Gotcha. You know, and if you had to, it would have to be something custom. Yeah. I don't work a good, you know, as much to make that much money. Yeah. So, and it's something that I just don't care about certain wheels you know i don't feel the need to get a set of expensive wheels although it would be nice i don't see the point of it yeah so i i grew out of it and then when i got this one i noticed there was wheels left and right at an affordable price sometimes it was i feel like i was stealing from the guy right right and i'm just we're just switching rims left and right on this one just because it's that you know they're out there like that right so when we got this one i was just like you know what man it's just we're gonna have to be switching up left and right but once we did the u-haul that's when you know what it's people know it as that let's keep it like that for a little bit longer and we've dragged it on so much yeah that now it's just i don't know we want i want to rewrap it do something do different. you yeah <clears throat> you have any ideas mm, just i have plastic dip yeah and what know, about a home depot truck I don't, I don't know. It's still orange and white, and you can still rent one. <laughs> I was thinking if anything color-wise, it would have to be the Amazon trucks. Oh, Just for that color. Right, there I you love go. that color. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool color. But, you know, I just, I, lo I love deliveries, you know, yeah, the yeah, freedom yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, I guess you can't call it freedom because somebody may not think it's free. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, for cool, the most man. part, you know, it's just, it's eye-catching. You're driving on the freeway and somebody doesn't know what's going on they're not going to peep an eye on it yeah but you have an old school head in a u-haul truck as they see you pass by they're like w -w -w hold on what's where can i get that one very true very true yeah, it's just it's an it's an eye catcher for certain people not a lot but certain yeah what's the what's the strangest occurrence that you've had with somebody because of the u-haul truck has anybody actually mistaken it for like an actual U-Haul truck? Or do they really know right away that, hey. A lady. A, la uh, a lady wanted me to move her doghouse. Yeah. And she was trying to have her daughter give me her phone number for, you know, to get the truck. Yeah. But the mom wasn't getting the gist that it's my personal truck. It's yeah. not a U-Haul truck. Right. It's my personal one. Yeah. And she insisted I would give her, give her my number so, call, so she could call me and, you know, whatnot. And Did you help her out? No. No, just, I would help somebody out, but who's going to yeah. help me at home? Yeah, right. Who's this? Yeah. You know, who who, who yeah. are you calling? <laughs> no one's going to help me at home. Just right. Like, just left it like that. But you clearly see the mom was trying to hook us up in a sense, ah, using, using the truck as bait. Gotcha. Gotcha. And it was just one of those scenarios. So I was just like, no, I'm, uh, I'm happily married. Thank there you, you go. There you go. How long have you been married? Um, not technically married, but we've been together for just about 10 years, man. It's just, oh, that's... It's I mean, you're, 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 you're married, man. Sooner or later. You're married. <laughs> it's just, I'm that's not cool, part of the man. Game, Congratulations. But... 10 years, that's a long time. Yeah. My that's awesome. School sweetheart. There you go, man. There yeah. you go. So what are you, like 27? 28? 25. 25. 25. Dang. Going on to the big 26. There you go, man. And you go. You're close to my, my oldest son's age. He's 27. And just time goes by so fast. and Doesn't you know, it? I feel myself like, you know, I'm doing all this thing. You know, yeah. is this childish or whatnot? But it's just part of who I am. Bro, I'm 47 years old. I'm still playing with toys, man. I what mean, are you talking just, about? It never gets old. Never gets we old. We just got growing up money now. You know, you know I mean, it's, it's the one thing that it doesn't matter what you're into. Low riders, donks, slabs, lifted, lowered. It doesn't matter. We all share one thing, and that's the passion, right? Yeah. It, it's It's the... It's the common denominator between all the people that are into anything automotive. It's the passion that we put into our vehicles, you know, um, whether you're lifting them, bagging them, customizing, graving stuff. Like it just, you know, just make do, you ever, do you ever lose that? Like, I just, I don't know. I, I, don't, I know I've got I friends that, you know, are, are, are married, have kids, and they tell me their stories about, you know, oh, I used to have a Chevelle. I used to have this. And, you know, I, I think... I think they're still really passionate about it, but something prevents them from acting on it, maybe, you know? There, there's, there's always something preventing somebody from yeah. doing what they really want to do. So.